What is the real cost of the food we produce in aquaponics? This is what we're going to see together in this video. I received a question from one of my readers and uh, that's a question that I received by email that I would like to read to you right now. So, my name is Said, so I don't know if I pronounce it well, but it's Said, S-A-E-E-D. Um, I am living in Melbourne and I recently finished your book, The Art of Aquaponics. I read it as I become interested to the concept of growing safe, nutritious and less expensive food. However, after reading your book, I got this impression that it might be safe and nutritious approach to get your food, but it is not a less expensive one and I'm writing to check and confirm this matter as explained below. So, this person just read my book and is interested into aquaponics, but is not sure if basically the cost of growing some food in, aquap in aquaponics is going to be cheaper than uh, growing food in a classic garden or buying the food in the supermarket. So I'm going to start. He, he sent me a really long uh, explanation and uh, very, very interesting. It, it's got some numbers here. So I'm just going to start to go through. So what I understood from reading your book uh, and specifically in the FAQ section, page 144, is that maximum fish biomass is one kilo for each 50 liters of grow bed. So you know guys, that's what I say all the time, 50 liters of grow bed for one kilo of fish biomass. That's the maximum fish biomass that I recommend to have in the aquaponic system. He says also that uh, it's five kilo of vegetables for each kilo of fish annually produced. So that's right, I say that we normally produce five to 10 times more vegetables than fish in aquaponics. So here it says five kilo of vegetables produced for each kilo of fish, I would say more close to 10, but yeah, five to 10, that I don't disagree with this, can be a, a, good, a good estimate. Assuming I make the cheapest setup with IBC, with 300 liters of grow bed, my maximum fish biomass is gonna be 300 divided by 50, which is six kilo of fish, and the maximum vegetable quantity of six by multiplied by five which is 30 kilo of uh, vegetables so that's right if you have an ibc and if you have a 300 liters grow bed i would recommend to not stock over six kilo of fish but that's that's a maximum biomass of fish you can have in the system it doesn't mean that the system is going to produce this quantity every year it can be more it can be less if you grow trout is going to be more because you grow a trout to the plate size in nine months so you can you know in 12 months you can grow more if you are in melbourne area well you are going to be close to one kilo per, um, per i mean to your to your maximum biomass because anyway we don't grow trout during the, the summer so there are a few months in the year where you don't grow fish so i do agree with the fact that we're going to be more or less able to produce one kilo of fish per 50 liters of grow bed, but it's only if you grow efficient fish. If you grow silver perch, it's gonna be less than one kilo. But the maximum biomass is gonna be maximum one kilo of fish per 50 liters of grow bed. This is correct. Then you say 30 kilo of vegetables per year uh, in 300 liters of grow bed, which is a bit more than one square meter. I think that would be, that would be a beauty already. Uh, if you can produce this quantity, 30, 30 kilo of vegetables in one square meter. Uh, generally, if you produce a lot of tomato, a lot of leafy, you may be close to this number. So let's keep this number as it is. To be safe, I consider 20 kilo of vegetables annually to leave some clearance for my system. Yes, Said, uh, I think you are right. 20 kilo is, is a good number. So 20 kilo per square meter or 20 kilo per 300 liters of grow bed. Because generally speaking, we have 30 centimeters deep grow bed. So I totally uh, follow you, Said. Uh, you are right. So ignoring all initial costs for setup and regular maintenance, and only looking for the electricity uh, that is consumed for a 20 watt water pump, 
for this setup, which is correct. That's what I recommend. 20, 15, 20 watts. It's exactly what you need to run an aquaponic system of one square meter, thousand liters, uh, basically 300 liters of crow bed. So uh, if I go back to your calculation, you say it's 20 watts multiplied by 24 hours, multiplied by 365 days, which is going to give us the total electricity consumption of the aquaponic system for a full year. So here uh, you say if you multiply those numbers, you obtain 175 kilowatts, kilowatt hours. So it's completely right. That's exactly what it's going to consume per, per year. So 175 kilowatts. And you say I pay 20 cents per kilowatt, per kilowatt uh, of electricity, which means that uh, the bill is going to be 175 multiplied by 20 cents, which is $36. So, so then you say, it's going to cost me $36. And if I take this $36 and I divide it by the quantity of vegetables produced, which is approximately 20 kilos, it means that it's going to cost me $1.8 per kilo of vegetables. I think that's quite correct, but you forget that you also produce some fish, right? Uh, so if you produce five kilos of fish, how much is a kilo of trout? A kilo of trout is more than $20. So if you produce five kilos of trout during your year, you already produce $100. It costs only 36, and then you got 20 kilos of vegetables on top of this. But then Can you please confirm this calculation is right? As to me, it doesn't look a very less expensive solution to grow vegetables. Um, yes, yeah, Said, uh, I don't know where you buy your vegetables from, and I don't know the type of vegetables you buy, but if you want to buy a food of this quality, which is basically more than organic, because there are no treatment, if you, if you do it properly following my recommendations, um, the food that you're going to buy, just a lettuce, if you buy one organic lettuce, it's already $3, right? three dollars and a lettuce is far from one kilo you know your lettuce is probably 300 grams so if you look at the price of the vegetables you buy and if you buy organic vegetables you are probably going to be way higher than ten dollars per kilo so here you're going to produce 20 kilo of vegetables so 20 kilos if you multiply by ten dollars it's 200 dollars already and then you get your hundred dollars of trial of trout worth so you have 300 dollars of food and the costs it's $36. So for me, for me, it's really worth it. But then uh, it's up to you, right? It depends. Uh, if, you, if you compare it to a classic garden, maybe, maybe I don't know if, if it's worth it. I have no idea. But if you compare it to a classic garden in Melbourne, you will have to water it. And there you're going to have a water consumption on top of it. Here in aquaponics, the water consumption is very limited because the water remains in the system. So really for me, it's really, really worth it. Uh, so Said, I really uh, encourage you to give me a comment in the middle of this video and to expose your point why you say it doesn't worth it. For me, 20 kilo of vegetables for $36 plus five kilo of fish, really, really worth it. It's a really good deal. And on top of this, you got this growing in your, in your backyard. You don't have to go to the supermarket. You pick it when you want. It's completely fresh. As you say, it's very nutritious. It's very tasty. It's, uh, it's, it's excellent food, so for me, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a no-brainer, as we say, you know, it's really, really worth it. So, even, so Said, yeah, let us uh, know your comments in the, in the comment section of the video. But for all of you guys, I think it was a, an interesting video. It tells you that for $1.8 per kilo, you can grow some food for $1.8 per kilo. So that's really cool, and hopefully in the future, we're going to be able to have the energy a bit less expensive if we, if we have some uh, ways of producing our own exp uh, our own energy. It can be solar, it can be with wind turbines. There are plenty of, uh, of ways to hopefully produce energy in the future. But right now my focus is to produce some food with the less quantity of energy possible. And I think what we are offering right now, you know, $1.8 of electricity per kilo of food is quite reasonable. Um, so all of you, please uh, let me your comment in the uh, yeah in the comment section. Give me any question or yeah any feedback that you may have. You may disagree. I'm totally open. You know all I'm trying to do is to give a good solution for everyone. Uh, aquaponics is not perfect. Yes, it consumes a bit of electricity, 
but really $36 for one full year. When I see the number of people who leave the light on during the night in their home, uh, you know, it's going to cost them the same price or, or way more. So here it's just, you, you spend a bit of money in electricity, $36 per year. But you got 20 kilo of vegetables and you got 5 kilo of fish if you go trout. Uh, I think that's a really good deal and at least you know what you are eating. So again, for the, for the fish, you have to pay again the fish food. So depending where you buy it, you, you had a bit of costs, obviously. Uh, but it's not like, it's not, it's not huge. So I really, I really believe it's a, it's a good thing to do. Uh, but let me know what you think. Um, if you are, if you are interested by aquaponics uh, after watching this video, I offer you a free training from the description of the video just below. Uh, you will find a link to the free training to build your own aquaponic system, step by step training, uh, to, to build it in the best way, to be able to, uh, to maximize uh, the quantity of food you're going to be able to produce and to decrease the quantity of maintenance. Um, it's, it's free step by step training, so get it, it's in the this in the description of the video or in the eye like information on the corner of the video somewhere. Um, if you enjoy this video, you can give it a like and if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I see you in the next video. Bye bye. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop.